Hey everybody, this is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com and this is a short um, video tutorial on Google Hangouts for the iPad. Um, Google Hangouts is revolutionary. Um, I think in the long run it'll eventually put Skype out of business, maybe, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, like all of the other Google apps, what you'll need to do is you'll need to download that separately. So you search in the iPad uh, application App Store for Hangouts and um, then download that and the the icon is this little green quote um, uh, sign inside the uh, green circle um, and essentially what Google has done is they took all of their instant messaging online messaging uh, video recording conference calls everything and they wrapped it all into one um, app called hangouts and there's some really amazing things that people are doing with Hangouts, and they have been for about a year and a half uh, since they came out with this tool. Um, is uh, the Hangouts actually now can go live straight to YouTube, or you can have a uh, what's called an on-air Hangout, which is where people come and watch this basically live recording of what's going on. Um, and there's a couple favorites that, that I really, really like. One of them is the the, um, the astronomy. I don't remember the exact name of it, but what they've done is they have people hooked up to their telescopes um, and um, they're recording live star shows on Google Hangout and they have people you know, at different places in the, in the world uh, recording um, uh, you know different different things that are going on out in space and they're all talking and communicating with each other um, uh, you know the, the the year before I left we did a hangout where we had all three classrooms in our own class but we were all talking playing this um, kind of jeopardy game between the classes uh, worked out fabulous um, anyway there's amazing things that the people are doing with hangouts um, so when you download it it's gonna ask for this notifications may include alerts um, allow okay um, so then, as usual, there's the getting started. Um, so what you'll do is click on getting started. It's going to go through my account. Um, now, so um, here's the Hangouts that I have. I don't have any video Hangouts. All of mine have been um, um, <clears throat> uh, conversation Hangouts. And that may look a little weird, actually, now that I'm looking at it. No, I'm making good choices. Um, teacher that I co-taught with. Uh, first time we've seen each other in a while. I was actually going to bring her a soda, so that's the whole the whole thing that she said there. So um, what I'm actually going to do is this is going to be kind of trippy. Um, now that I'm holding up my iPad, I am going to do a video hangout recording of um, a hangout, and you'll be able to see kind of what's going on. Um, so if we drag it over. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, access my um, microphone. Now I'm not going to call him. Um, I'm actually going to hang up. So there's that. So this is what he would see um, if he answers. He's not going to answer, but let me hang up that. And. Um, what you can actually do is you can have a live face-to-face -face conversation over the um, Google Hangouts. You can record those um, and you know basically send them live. So these these are the obviously the text message ones, um, both from today because um, I had you know I wanted to use those for this video tonight. Um, but what you can do is it'll pull up your contacts and then you can basically chat with those individuals. You can attach documents and different things like that. So that's Hangouts. All of them are archived, all of them are saved. Um, you can have multiple people in a Hangout or a conversation. Um, when I was in Texas before I got back to Utah, um, I was working with the ninth grade team and we did what was called a Google Hangout uh, where the three of them were in a room working on next year's curriculum and I was on my computer and I could see everything that was going on. They could hear me, we could talk. But we also all had access because of the Google Docs capabilities to add information and um, you know input into those documents and spreadsheets and, and all that stuff. So it's it's pretty simple um, as far as that goes. Um, to type a new message, you just click here, and what you would do is you would just add people 
that are in your contact list um, that you've sent emails to before and you could start one of those um, that way right so if I wanted to send um, uh, Adrian Steele a message um, I could do that I could take a photo pen location sticker there's a, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do um, I'm not getting get into it today I'll probably do a more in-depth one but essentially this is what it looks like um, and your home right so you pull up here it's gonna give you an option to do a video um, hang out with them uh, you can favorite it you can mute it um, and it'll have all the details the date the messages sent and all that stuff this over here so this is the iPad version over here oops let me scroll down is the desktop version um, what it's going to have is it's going to have <clears throat> if I were to click on the video it would pull up a video and start recording and I'm not going to because a video within a video is seems too weird and like inception and all that stuff so if you have questions you can email me um, spencer.campbell at jordandistrict.org thanks for watching and have a great day